What's up? Welcome to Temperantia. Combo score is the name of the game here. It's easy to perform enormous combo chains on him, so the requirement is pretty steep in the main focus of the fight. It's also quite easy to kill him way too fast, so going all out with your most powerful attacks at all times isn't an option either. Lightning Durga is my weapon of choice whenever I get a big opening, since it racks up the score like nothing else and is one of the weaker weapons in the game. The opening is nothing too fancy, playing out the fight in the most standard way possible. What you see is what you get for the most part, there are no big secrets to avoiding these attacks. When he's swapping between patterns it can be hard to keep your combo going, but charging up Chiraba freezes the combo timer so you can hold it till he opens himself up again. You can also freeze the timer by taunting, but Shiraba charge gets some extra damage in, and this part isn't about scoring so it's my move of choice. When he starts gasling bullets at you, now's your biggest chance for combo in the first phase. Reflecting these things gives crazy high score. Unfortunately you can't really carry this over to the section where you're running up his arms since you have to move a lot before you can attack. Running up the inside of his arms avoids his wind attacks and gets you there as soon as possible, but it's still not enough to keep your combo going. Here's where Lightning Durga comes in. With the weave effect that's active during bosses, you can pretty much match your previous combo in seconds just mashing punch over and over. In the second phase, although his moves are a touch different, it's pretty much the same thing again. The main change is he now fires bullets from his eyes and reflecting these doesn't get you any points, sadly. It's really hard to get hits in if he uses this attack, so you pretty much have to accept losing the combo. Once you get onto the arm, it's the same thing again. Run up the inside, pull out your Durga, mash punch and watch the score counter go wild. Now's the chance to really score big. If you've played properly you can combo this entire phase together. I got the first couple but got a little disoriented near the end and messed up, but I had enough points to push onward thanks to Gaze of Despair. By watching his body fall apart you should be able to tell where you are in relation to the next nodes. But well, uh, I guess I'm bad and blind considering how badly I messed it up here. The last phase is both the hardest and most fun part of the fight by far. I'm also still in need of more points so I need to keep combo up which can get pretty tight with how long some of these attacks last. In particular his attack where he roars and shoots missiles down at you can lead to some dropped combos if you don't keep attacking till the last possible second before running away. His breath attack is lightning fast and hard to tell where it's going to end up, so if you're at his back where you can't run away to the body, it can be really hard to avoid. Generally, his chest is the safest place to be. It avoids some of the scarier attacks, but even with long range moves like Heel Stomp and Tetsu's ankle, it can be tricky to target the head from this angle, so you're still going to need to get up close and personal if you want combo. No big secrets here. You got to learn these patterns well and respond to them appropriately and he'll go down. I'm Zodiac and that was Temperantia, thanks for watching.